Hey guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Again, I'm at a different angle, so just forgive me if stuff ends up being out of frame. But I'm going to try my best to uh, have, keep it in frame. This is another haul, mostly resin, but a few other things that you can see that I'm going to share with you guys. First things I'm going to share are going to be stuff other than the resin stuff, okay? And you guys have seen this thing. I just put this up. I keep forgetting I got it. And I got a second one somewhere. I just got to find it for Tasha's Beauty Cafe. Okay, one thing that I got was this pillowcase. Uh, this came from AliExpress. And it just says subscribe with the YouTube button. I hope that's showing. Let me check right quick. Yeah. So, and that's all that does. I'm going to buy some stuffing, I think. If I can't find an, a pillow to fit in there, I will buy the, the stuffing stuff and <clears throat> stuff it. Okay. Uh, let's go with this first because this right here, I'm sure you guys <laughs> don't really want to know about. But I bought a few items that I've been wanting. I'm still working on a Harry Potter journal, junk journal. So I got this thing right here. It's the night bus ticket. And I think it's just one in there. I got this Ministry of Magic ID card. And that's just one. And I got two of these. And this is, it says, Mr. H. Potter. Here we go. The cupboard under the stairs for Privet Drive. Little Wingington. Winging? I don't know. Surrey. And I opened one. That's why I bought two so I can open one to keep the other one. And I don't see the the necklace that comes with, with it. And it is around here somewhere. But it does have this necklace and it's around here somewhere of the Deathly Hollows. Or Hallows. This is a London uh, London to Hogwarts one way ticket right there. And it comes with these two things right here. And it's about the uniform. And this is the welcome letter. Stairs, we are pleased to inform you. Yeah, and the welcome and the acceptance of the welcome letter. Is it in there? So it's up here on this table somewhere. I'll find it later. And it comes sealed. Like I say. And it's very nice actually. So hopefully I can figure out how to use all this stuff in a Harry Potter themed junk journal. And I know Harry Potter's been around for ages. I'm just the one that's catching up. Um, talking with Miss Paulette, she said, our friend the waffler, i.e. I think her name is Camellia. Camellia Craft Designs, I think. But we both call her the waffler because she's always waffling and let her tell it, which is funny to me. Um, she made a Alice in Wonderland junk journal. So I bought the papers. I think Paulette is Paulette probably just about done with hers. But I bought the, two of these uh, 12 by 12 paper packs. And I bought these die cuts. And I, I know I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near what she has. It's all strictly for inspiration. So I'm going to do my best. Try to anyway. Y'all know how I am. It may take me two years before I even get to it. But we're going to keep on moving. <coughs> Excuse me. I got these things right here. These things go in those. I keep wanting to call them clogs. I don't know what those things are called. Those shoes crocs. And these are just like nurse or doctor thing, medical themed. These things. I don't know what they call these either. I think they call them gibbets. But I got these for my niece. She's a physical therapist. And I'm going to send her those. I don't know if she even wears Crocs. But I thought those were cute. And I want to send them to her. This is just like those Tim Holtz words or whatever. That's all this is. And I've always wanted those. And just never got them. This right here is our stickers. I think this is a jar sticker. Yeah, this, the jars are stickers. 
and I think this has breads. Okay, this is the jar. Let me get this right here. So this is what the jar looks like, and it is a sticker. And then we have the food, and I'm not gonna pull them out. Just a few. And this is what the some of the food theme stickers look like. Oops, don't go nowhere. That's what they look like. Put these back before I make a mess, and I did drop one anyway. So I'll put that back in there. I don't know what I did with the jar, but I'm not gonna trip on it either. I'll find it later. Okay, and I did get this. I got two. This is just some greenery, I guess, or foliage. A dye for foliage. And this is like, what would you call it? Um, I'd have to try and find it, but you would use these to make, I think it's to make different closures for your, your journals. What I'll do, if I, if I remember, I'll try to put a link somewhere, maybe in the sidebar, not the sidebar, but in the, up in the, one of those corners, and see if I can't um, put a video that shows what I'm talking about with this. Like I said, it's been so long since I ordered that stuff, and it's just not showing up. I forgot what, I've actually forgotten that I had ordered it. These are some more stamps that I got for background stamps. Let's see, are you gonna be able to see these? Okay. What about like this? That may be better, I'm not sure. But these are just, this is butterflies and flowers. Here's a skull. And I hope the glare is not getting in, in the way. Skull and some words script. There's a smaller script die, die, stamp. Here's another one. Very nice, I think, anyway. Nope, not that way, this way. Here's another one. This one like this would make uh, really pretty. What are those things called? I can't even think of the name of them. Um, I can't think of the name. Artist trading, artist trading cards. Uh, this is, I don't know, but it looks nice. And I think it'll do really well as a stamp, background stamp-ish. Here's another one that has postcard and stamps and a couple other things on it. And this one is a B. Nice background stamp. Okay. And let me move this over here out of the way. I got these two little small 6x6 six six paper pads. And I don't really like these size paper pads, but I'm hoping I can be able to use these. And when I got it, it, it came like this, so it gave me the impression that they were front and back, but they're not. They're all single-sided, which I absolutely hate. But it is what it is. And let me see, how do we do we get it each? You get two of each. So this is one here. Here's another one. Let me turn this back to a second, just keep these. Some lemons. Did you see the lemons? The lemons. Honeycomb. Cutesy flowers. Black and white bees, color bees, that's really pretty too, I like that one as well, very nice, this one, and this one, so I got those, now will I be able to use them, I hope so, because I would like to create a, a B-themed journal. So, that's going to be what I'm going to try to do. With it. You know what, let me just put this up. Right, instead of trying to put it back. 
I got this thing. This is a paper punch. And if you make jewelry, especially earrings, if you punch this out, or uh, let's say with a tag, you would put the earrings in there. And that would be cute. I've always wanted something These are like some this. stamps. Hopefully it will stay focused this time. Maybe I do it like this. Put it down and bring it up. And these are all the themed stencils. And I'm doing it like this because the last time my camera went all wonky and got blurry and it wouldn't come back. So I'm hoping that this will help. And that's my grandson and his mama, my daughter, which I hear in the background. These are the honeycombs that get smaller and smaller. Go from a nice size to a, a smaller size or a smaller size to a bigger size. There we go. And that was all of the stencils. Let me just kind of straighten these a little bit. Let me put those over there. And about this thing, and this is just to help protect whatever surface I'm going to be working on when I start working with the resin. Okay. And I got a support question or a help question. I need some help from y'all. Anybody? Y'all, everybody don't have to answer it once. Will y'all please tell me what this thing is and what, what I'm supposed to do with it? I don't even know where it came from. I got it from somewhere. I'm in here sweating. Have mercy. Okay, this thing right here. I do not know. It has something to do with resin because that's the resin color right there. So I don't know if I got it in a kit or what. See, that's the resin color right there. Like I said, I don't know. I can't remember if I got it in a kit or what. But it's got these things and this suction cup and that pipette and some other stuff. So if y'all know what this, what I'm supposed to do with that, let me know because I have no clue as of right now. And I'm sure I've had it for a while. It may have come in some type of kit. I don't know. But if y'all let me know, that'll be great. All right, let's start with everything that I hope is resin stuff because I really don't know. I'm hoping it is. So let's get this started. One thing is, it's right here. It's called, it's a promo company called Let's Resin. What's in here? Oh, and it's got these cups. So you can, um, I guess, marble some things. So I got a cup, these cups with two, one with three, one with four, and one with five um, spaces. I'm just say that. So you can put five different colors in and try and marble those. So I got that. I, and I think this came from Amazon, by the way. Here is some resin. This is from, I don't know. This resin, let's open it up so you can see. Okay, here we go. And it's called Crystal Clear Resin Parts A and B. So I got those to try. And there is one that says it doesn't have bubbles in it. I'm going to get that eventually. Let's see how that works out. Here is a UV resin. And I got this to work with the dice, not dice domino set. I have the mold for the domino set. I'm going to show you guys. And I've seen people when they put the, um, like the colors into the holes to count the numbers in the dominoes, they use this UV resin to seal it. I got that. And which I've been had this. This is a UV light from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use this UV light to hopefully 
secure that UV resin. I knew they would come in handy for something. So let me put that there. And we're going to start pulling out Timo stuff. Let's see. This is one bag. Now, I don't, I can't tell you that everything in the bag came on the same day, but it all came from Timo. So let me dump this stuff out right here. That it? Okay, I think that's it. Okay, this is a jar. A silicone mold for a jar, and here's the top. I actually was not intending on getting this, but I kept seeing uh, the young lady that i been looking at already. And I'll put her name in, because right now you know I can't remember it. But I've been seeing her jars, and I thought they were cute. And hopefully they will work at the craft fair. And if not, I will have wonderful, as far as I'm concerned, wonderful Christmas gifts for folks. This is a phone stand resin mold. Get off of there. Put that right there. I don't think you guys can even see that, but there it is anyway. I'm going to leave it right there. Put it over here out the way. Jeez. This is another die, not die stamp. And I think I got this. So this may be the second one of those. And it's both been over here anyway. This has nothing to do with resin. But I have been making, I, I have made different types of boxes. And I think these would work out really nice on those boxes if you could just put if I could put the right type of closure on so I'm gonna try that eventually not right now but I'm going to try I got these because I saw a person who did some dominoes use clock pieces and they call it like a steam pump steam punk situation with the with the uh, dominoes so that's why I got those I hope that's enough and let's see what was in here oh y'all I know, don't hate me. Absolutely nothing to do with resin. But this is a, just a little watch. I think it was like, it was less than a dollar. And it's a, a watch that says platform nine and three quarters. Of course, it's Harry Potter themed. And it just does that. And it's actually ticking right now. So, I just, I just like it. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just a Harry Potter fan. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. <sighs> I'm not going to stress out about it anyway. Okay, that's one bag. Let me pull out this other one. Okay, here's another bag. Let's empty what's in here out. Okay. Okay, here are... Two more. Like I said, I had not initially planned on getting this die. I mean, I'm sorry, this resin mold. But I don't want to have to make one set of this at a time. I'm, I'd rather make three one day and then keep it moving. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just don't want to do one at a time. And I think I have two of these. I'm not sure. It may be down in the box. But this is a book box resin mold. So I'm going to do this one. I don't think it's got a hair in it. I don't think this will be big enough to hold the dominoes, all of the dominoes. But just in case it might, I thought that would be so super cute. So let's put this back in here. Put these in there. Okay. All right. So let me move this out of the way for now. All right. Let's go here. We got this box of stuff. Let's see. Now these are book corners, and I think I got two of these. Yes, I got two packets of these book corners, and that's for the resin book box. I got these filigree pieces. Hopefully that'll work too. I hope those things don't turn. This right here is something that I showed you guys last time. I had two of these. These are like the words like Aries, Gemini, Leo. That's what that is. I got these glitter. This glitter. 
this glitter and this glitter and I'm hoping that they work out well inside of the resin I got these two little paints which I probably should have just went to Michaels and got their 99 cent paints since I'm going to use the UV light on them anyway and I got it in um, black and gold um, yeah that's probably what I should have done just when I got it and then here is a Here's a gold and a bronze paint that I got to use with the dominoes. Like I said, I hope I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I start stuff and just don't finish. I know since I'm lying about it, I do it. And yes, I do. And here are just a few things that are arbitrary. I got, I got some masks right here somewhere. But I couldn't find the popsicle sticks that were colorless. So I got these. I'm going to be using the knives more than likely to, to stir my resin with. And I'm going to use these cups too to measure out resin as well. And I got some handy dandy gloves. And I got this little thing to stir with. Remember when I was telling you guys that I thought I had two of these. And so here's the second book um, mold. Here is the mold. Look, here's the uh, it's a Deathly Hallows necklace that I was telling you about that go with this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead on and drop this on in here right quick. Yeah, that's my son and my grandson. Lord have mercy. Forgive the noise, guys. Now these actually have nothing to do with the resin. These are just some flower centers. I see Lisa Goss keep making those beautiful flowers and I don't think I'll ever be as good as she is at making the flowers but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm going to try really hard my son just handed me my drink of choice Pepsi Woohoo! okay anyway I bought this thing to put the alcohol in so that I could spray for the bubbles in the resin because they say don't use your heat gun or a torch or anything like that because it will damage the mold itself this this is different flakes are the copper flakes it's gold copper and silver oh, well, what do you call these things and this is a big jar of the gold gold leaf I think that's what it's called so I got this big jar of the gold leaf which I really if I had known that I had gotten this or remembered that I had gotten this, I would not have gotten that. But hopefully it's going to work out. So I got gold, copper, and silver leaf to go into some of the resin stuff. This is a box. And I've seen people use this box on in videos to put the dominoes in. So I may try that. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. This is another epoxy resin color. Uh, these, these are to make like the glassy type colors that you can see through. And these are all the colors. And y'all please forgive my grandson. Have mercy. Between him and my son, look, look, see, and what happened, his uncle put him out of his room and now he's upset. Yeah. And I'm going to get both of them. This right here is another product from Less Resin. And this is the gold. And I think it's gonna be really pretty. I'm gonna, I'm testing this gold against another gold that I got to see which one is better. It all may be the same. Cause I've actually used, what is it? Um, eyeshadow, loose eyeshadow in resin and it worked fine. Okay, so I've done this one and I've done that one. This is another one here. This is the one that have the bright colors, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not, oh yeah, these are the ones with the really bright colors. Um, why do they have, do I think I got three pinks and these two hot orangey yellow, orangey, I'm sorry, orangey red colors. Mm, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's different once you use them. I'll see. But I got those and I want to make a set of dominoes with that because that's who I've seen 
um, the lady, the young lady I was telling you guys about that I cannot remember her name and I always butcher it. I've seen her do them and it was so pretty. And this is from May Spring. These, this is more resin. Not resin, I'm sorry. Colorant. And, come on. Man. And these are all different colors, which I, I absolutely adore. That way you don't pay for one big thing like this. You get a lot of little ones like this. And I'm sure you don't need that much. But I got this, I have this, um, it says white. Don't make me pronounce that. But there's turquoise blue, rose quartz, violet crystal, purple amethyst, silver druzy. Okay. Green. Okay. Gonna do that. Uh, shiny malachite. Golden. Okay. Labyrinth, I guess. And brownstone. Uh, and the last thing, but certainly not least is this domino die. Ah, Jesus, the domino resin mold. Right, so here it is. Come on out. Okay. So this is for the dominoes. And uh, you know what I think I'm going to do, what I would like to do is possibly make dominoes my first project since it seemed like it would be the easiest thing to do. It's going to either be this or that jar, one of those jars, because I can experiment using green because I'm a Leo, and that's the color of, I think, August, and I'm the one that's on the cusp, so I'm, I'm on the last day of Leo, is Leo, so I may start out my projects with green, and if they turn out great, fine. If they don't, guess what? I have projects that are especially geared for me. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I think that's it. This is the instructional guide, maybe. Hopefully, tell you how to use the stuff. Kits and pigments and how much to use and all this type of stuff. I hope so. Uh... So that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All your comments are truly appreciated. Come back anytime and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, lovebugs.